No. Might might be something there. I suppose I could check. Ooh. G U W E I Z has some great art. That's a bit art and some chick in a suit. Quite nice. Star system. We'll go say hi. I might be able to get something out of it. Like, it mightn't be a pirate ambush. Um, it could, I could actually be able to help someone and actually gain rep with one of the factions that hates my gods. I'll probably lose it soon enough, but still. Ah, good. Defective Manufactory has been fixed up. I could be successful. Hmm, good for it. Domain error probe. Uh, explore. Automated defenses. Hmm. Wait for one second. Oh, that's one angry part for Alright, we get in, we kick ass, we get what we can, and we leave. I'm gonna check the system that has the cryopod. Also, apparently there's no limit to the amount of places that, you know, drive stuff from it. So, that's nice. And really does speed up the uh, growth of the colony, from what I remember looking off of it. Of course, there's a major patch that's coming out. So, again, that could be changed. We won't know till we go there. Not that I really remember the deets of yesteryear. Mm, bounce! I think they're Tundra Wu. Leo? Oh. I think Mem, Mem Zero is a reference to an. Sounds similar to an anime I remember hearing of. Tundra Wow? I'm not sure. It's making me think of Tundra Throne from Wow. Uh, the raid I never actually finished. Did like the opening bit in an Alpha R, and that was it. Ooh. Derelict uh, Domain Air Survey Ship. Nice. Probably the same thing as I found elsewhere. Okay, I need to flee back to Abraxas.
they will stalk me for ages. I jumped into another system to avoid them before, and they followed me in. For all I know, that pirate fleet that attacked me in that one place was... No, actually, no, no, I safe scummed. They followed me from the other safe. <laughs> I'm joking. You know, but for all I know... Vaguely like a fetus in there. Be creepy. I should go and uh, talk to my contacts. Degraded uh, dry field. much at all. An opportunity. Six units of food. Um, sure. Am I not already doing that? No, actually. No way I can boost production. Jesus. Uh. Oh, this jumped up. Maybe it would have went up more if I'd. Okay, try and remember the deets. 0. 0.6, 79%. Point six one, yeah, that's going up. But maybe if I did it for them all, seventy-eight percent. If I reduced them all, the percentage would catch up. No. Wish I could remove these. Easier. And money. Hey, presto. Cash. Sadly, no... No food from here. Not enough food from here. Uh, it'll probably go up to what he wants. Next level, but... That next level's next level. Merchant affiliated with my faction. Nice. Uh, I would love to do it. I would really love to do it. It's extra cash. Yeah. But that's not going to happen anytime soon.
All right, we'll just leave the metal behind. Uh, I'm slightly under. Ah, oh, good. Oh, wait. I wasn't sorting, I was depositing. There you go. Ooh, I've won too many now. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll stay the course. Un momento. One, two, three. get this shit back to powering. So, we'll just tank the extra supply loss. Uh, I kind of want to see about the system that has the cryopods. I think I want to set up shop over there. And I probably should get, you know, set up shop as I'm going. So, you know, everything's waiting ready to go rather than you know, I know. I feel there will be value in having them pre already set up, rather than um, trying to run around setting them up and then waiting for the cash. If they could be, or you know, already prepared, someone will probably be best. And they could use its jumping off points to explore further that way. Send most of the fleet. I don't know, Zan. Okay, you do no use. Ooh, I hit up a lot of planets. Nice little uh, nest egg here. As far as I know, that has no negative out, uh, negative effects. So, eh. no excellent like blueprints. Maybe in the future it will, where it will encourage them to go and try and take those places, rather than sending out their own survey ships. They basically let you do the work for them. That would be interesting.
Okay, I need to go to you. I also need to give you cannons. Actually, what system? I won't worry. Uh, Moors. not habitable so it doesn't get it. Fuck. Do you at least get any benefit from this? Nope. Okay, that benefits in no way. Alright. Uh, I can't do anything there. Okay, it's this place. Delta Uz. Yeah, I'll hit up this place, though these two are pretty nice looking as well. Ultra Sun. Our work of the the Dio drive scene, but with Center Armstrong for Mega Rising, that would have gone down differently, not too differently. Well, Dio was Dio. Nano Machine Son wouldn't have wouldn't have been as effective.
Actually, no, they might have been okay. Um, hmm. I'm, I don't want to be spoilery, but... You know, well, the fight would have certainly gone... The, that bit would certainly have gone differently. I was just... No. I, was I wasn't sure how effective, you know, Nanomachine Sun would have been, you know? Baldir. Oh yeah. Ooh, cryo revival facility. N distance to nearest cryo sleeper zero. White tears. Growth bonus 100%. Demand is on meth. Maximum growth bonus reduced by 50%. Growth bonus plus 30%. Max for colony size plus 30. And it's a 10 light year limit, so from the sounds of it, even things outside this system get a bonus, though it's reduced by that distance. And there isn't a limit on it, so it's quite nice. Uh, I forgot the cost side of this. You know what, I'm going to call this here. Uh, I'll go around and do some merchanting, it'll be fine. Also, ooh, actually, uh, also I should actually, another option would be to set up over here. Good, good places over there. Mm. But uh, I wanted to hit up here. Uh, like, I'm not downplaying Center Armstrong. He was badass. And he actually, that, that, it was quite well done. People, I've no, seen a fair few people quite dislike Metagear Rising, but from what I've seen of it, it's been quite, it was cool. It was fun. It was a bit silly, but it was fun. And Armstrong, <sighs> bastard had a point, you know? But, um, I'm going to go play some Odyssey now in a second. But, yeah, Bastard had a point. He's not a good guy, but Jack has had a point. Uh, where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? So, yeah, he was badass, but it's just... I don't... Oh, fuck it. Five, four, three, two, one. Spoilers, so I can speak freely. Dio could stop time. That kind of is one hell of an advantage over a person. Plus... Vampire. To ordinary humans, not that Dio really did it too much. Well, he did it a little. It was more of a heal, quick pick me up rather than a straight out attack. Was well, to drain people. Like, but uh, vampires in JoJo can just stick their hands in, into people and drain them. Even worse, if pillar men, they just. You try and punch them, they start absorbing your arm. They can just suck the entire you into them. But, um... Also, Stroheim was badass. Dude blew himself up with a grenade and survived. But, um, yeah, stopping time would have been one hell of an advantage over, you know, the other guy. He would have fared better than the fucking, um... Senator that was there. Armstrong would be like a frick. Well, a steel wall in comparison. Well, I mean, he is in general, but, you know, expect, you know, definitely, especially. But I don't see the fight going too well for him. St being able to stop time and then just drain people would be kind of debilitating. To fight against. Um...
so yeah. He may be a burly motherfucker, but there's limits, annoyingly. The, then again, I was thinking, you know, the the nano machines hardened in response to impact, so it's not like he ha it was a it's a passive defense, not an active one. So if Dio, you know, broke his face, you know, they would harden when time resumed, as they would normally. You know, punch happens, they harden. So. The time stop wouldn't have impacted in that regard, potentially. Yeah. I'm, I'm bullshitting here because it's it is kind of an interesting idea. I always like thinking like, okay, m magic versus science. You know, they're doing this. How do you bullshit around it? So that's just I know something I find fun. <sighs> All right. Uh <laughs> uh, I got a response. Uh, I retweeted it. Uh, that alternate universe where Dio fucked with the wrong senator and a stand, it has to be this way. That's Armstrong's team. Which actually makes it fit e great with JoJo's, because like, everyone stands a goddamn song. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this here because otherwise I'll never get to Odyssey, and I'll just feel like eh, I've played too much of one thing. Eh. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed, and I hope you join me again. Join me again soon. I keep saying, feeling like I'm saying, enjoy me again soon, and that's wrong. Obviously, to be clear for the Armstrong fans out there, I'm not downplaying it. The stability to stop time and to just drain people to death is pretty scary. Same point, he is he is Armstrong. He wouldn't have crumpled like that senator. He could have picked the car up and thrown it. So, you know, he, he had much more range of ability to handle it. The odds were just qu would be quite stacked against him. But he would have fared a lot better. And thinking about it, his nano machines might have fucking worked. So, uh. Nano machines, son. Ah, oh, I would love for body prosthesis. As long as it looks a halfway decent. Ghost in your shell tech, please. Uh. Then I can be the anime girl I've always wanted to be. Uh. Anyway, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you join me again soon. Till then, love and peace, baby. We'll go do some merchanting, raiding, pillaging. Woo! Yeah. And we will try and get this colony set up. We'll probably try and do some more explorations, more look looky doos. And. Try and get a few more colonies up and going. Probably here, so they can benefit from the increased growth. That way, they'll be more relevant that bit sooner. Um, and we can go from and we can go from there. Um, at some stage, I am gonna just have to sit down and be like, "I'm doing nothing," and just wait for my for my cash situation to fix itself. It's gotten so far; there's no amount of merchanting that I can manage that will actually fix my situation. I just have to let my country, my, my little faction, change things. I could also try and do some quests and jobs for Tritachion and win some standing with them. If I could win some standing with them and actually get to a respectable level. I could actually try and sign on board with them, and if I signed on board with them, they would all they would give me a fair dividend, and that would make the whole process that bit easier, because the dividend would be like uh, 20, uh, 80, 80 grand or whatever, whatever. I think.
think I can sign on with them. Uh, whatever the other faction would have given me. Um, I would say. So, anyway, till then, till then.